Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Sam. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the channel down there, today I'm doing a 10 minute makeup look and this is really just a makeup look so I can look presentable for my meetings and trainings. This is a look I created because I do want to look presentable for work online and just a quick 10 minute makeup. So, so if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I already applied some moisturizer and I'm going to apply a little bit of my e.l.f. putty primer. This is something that I put on even though let's say that there's days that I'm not going to wear makeup. Uh, but I still like I'm going to go out. I still put a little bit of this primer just because I see a difference in my pores. I really need to um, put some purple shampoo on my little blonde hair because... It's getting a little orange. I don't know if you guys can tell. I ordered some new um, bleach that I saw on TikTok that I'm gonna like do when I, whenever I need to like redo my roots. I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of foundation and I'm gonna be using my NYX Born to Glow. When I tell you like a little bit, it's like a dot on each side and that's all I'm gonna take. I'm gonna focus it right here on my cheeks but I want the main focus right here on my cheeks. And I'm gonna take a little bit, literally like a swatch, and I'm gonna put it on my nose. It tends to have redness on it. Just like that, that like helped me tame the redness of my cheeks and kind of like my t-zone i'm gonna take this nyx uh born to glow concealer and i bought it in a darker shade because i want to use this as kind of like contour and um like bronzing up my face i'm literally just gonna dot a little bit right here and i like the applicator it's a little sponge and I'm just gonna use my sponge to blend this out. That blended really nice. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my temples. And then for concealer, I'm gonna take my um, shape, my shape tape for Tarte. And I'm gonna literally just put a little bit there, a little bit. On the high, po high points of my face. If you guys haven't seen my new video, I was having trouble with my internet. My internet has been so bad. I live in San Diego, but I live really close to the border, and the internet has been so bad. Like, I have like a meeting or a training, and literally need to like like turn off my camera so that my Wi-Fi works because it's been so like unstable. It's ugh so annoying go and get a new um modem and i think i'm gonna make an appointment so that i can go and get that i'm gonna just set my under eye a little bit because i get like the creases there really really bad so i'm just gonna set this you don't need to set your face but i'm just gonna take my mac studio fix and literally just a little bit i'm literally taking a little bit of powder So I'm gonna start like having to film way ahead of time so that I can edit and I'm using my Hula bronzer. Um, yeah, so that I can edit and have everything ready so that I can go to my in-laws and just upload there just so that I can obviously keep up with my schedule. That was one of the reasons that I wanted a schedule so that obviously you guys could know when I was gonna upload. But yeah, so my Saturday videos are going to be more of a true crime um true crime urban legend i'm gonna do the tutorial tuesdays if you guys have any like videos you guys want to watch for either saturday or uh tuesday for the tutorial uh you can just leave it down in the comment section i'm applying a little bit of blush and this is um party by tarte and of course i'm gonna wear a little bit of highlight because i love me some highlights so i'm gonna take my mac whisper of guilt
I feel so strange with not having my eyebrows done like before doing my whole makeup because I'm so used to um, having like my eyebrows done before doing my makeup now. I am going to apply a tiny bit of concealer to my eyelids. And I'm going to just set that with a vanilla shade. Eyeshadow. And then for my eyes, I'm literally going to take the same Hoola bronzer and a super fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M511. And I'm just going to put this little bit on my crease. But just a tiny bit, just so that I can bring a little bit of color back to my lids. And it kind of like looks together with my with my contour. Um, now I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlight that I put Whisper of Guilt and just apply it on my inner corner just to bring a little bit of light. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna apply um, mascara. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use my Milk uh, Kush mascara, and then I'm also gonna be using the NYX Under Eyes mascara. So I'm gonna be using both. I think I did a video on these, on this mascara, the Kush by Milk. Like this is so heavy. The actual like um, packaging of the milk mascara is so heavy i need to start using my castor oil for my lashes again because i literally have like a sparse area right here like i'm so not used to just wearing mascara like that this to me it's like okay i'm gonna pop my lashes on <laughs> like uh please be very careful if you decide to do this and i just take the toothpick and separate my lashes for my brows I'm gonna be taking the benefit 24 hour setter and I've used this a couple times and I've heard it's really good but I always have like my eyebrows glued so with that little the yellow thing there so yeah I'm gonna And then for lips, I'm just going to take um, this MAC liquid lipstick in the shade Lady Be Good. Lady Be Good. <laughs> That's so pretty. I'm going to add a couple of freckles. And this is the completed look. I know that it was like super simple, but like I said, I wanted to just feel a little bit cute but not wear a lot of makeup and I think I think I accomplished that. I again it's so weird that I don't have like my full on eyebrows. I just I don't know. I feel like I look weird. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and little button down there. As always the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box and until then I'll see you guys in my next one.